how our fan mod works on the PlayStation 3. Um, it is $50. The, instead of just modding the fan, we're not adding a fan, we're actually just making it so you can control the speed of the existing fan already in the PlayStation. So there's no extra fans on the back, nothing like that. Um, you just are able to control the speed, turn it up and down after we mod it. Um, and right now I've got it on all the way on high. Um, it's kind of dark right here. Let me, here's my flashlight. Look at that handy right next to me. You see that hole right there? You have a hole on the side that I drill out after I'm done. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but there's a pot inside there, a potentiometer, that controls the fan. All you do is stick a screwdriver in there. I'm, um, I make it so you can do it with the case on. Um, it'd be kind of ridiculous if you couldn't do it with the case on. You'd have to open it up every time you wanted to control the speed. But, uh, basically you just stick a tiny flathead screwdriver in there. And if you turn it all the way to the right, it's all the way up on high. If you turn it all the way to the left, it'll be all the way down. So, I'm going to turn it all the way up on high, let you hear it. Uh, you I mean, you can leave it on high, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having the control. I mean, the, uh, the sound of it doesn't bother you. You don't need the potentiometer. Um, so I uh, want to show you what it sounds like at full speed. As you can tell, that's pretty loud. Um, obviously, there's tons of airflow. If you've seen videos on here before. Well, there it went. Blew off the table. Okay, so let's show you uh, what it sounds like after I turn it down. Just barely turning it. Okay, you can hear it go down now. I mean, if I turn it all the way left, it's off. I turn it all the way right, it's, up. it's all the way up. So you want to try to find a noise level. It isn't too loud, but it's still getting, you know, really good cooling. Maybe something like that. It's not as loud as it being all the way up. You know, you can play with it yourself. Still getting plenty of airflow. See the sticky low one. Yeah, there it went. And it's completely way better than when, if you just let your PlayStation uh, control the speeds from the get-go, you can control them and give it a nice airflow all the way around the whole time you're playing. Which, in turn, will help you from getting the yellow light of death in the first place. So, if you do get a repair from us, uh, I recommend go ahead and getting this done as well. That way help you in the future, protect you in the future, um, you can control the speeds and obviously if the sound does not bother you, you, know, you might as well just leave it on full blast, but you know, if you're watching a DVD or something with your girlfriend or your kids, whatever, you're not going to want it to be full blast, it's kind of annoying. So that way you can turn it down and you can watch your video in a uh, nice setting without it sounding so loud. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point, but this is how it works, and uh, like I said, it's $50 for me to do this mod. I do have money into the part, uh, then there's a fee in there for me to actually solder it in uh, and get it all done for you. So, uh, 
This is Matt, it fixed my GPU, and this is how the PS3 fan mod works.